Keynotes provide a consistent way of annotating drawings to identify model elements, detail components, or materials. Keynotes use tags and data from an external text file that you can associate with an element, component, or material. From the Architecture ribbon, in the Build panel, start the Wall tool and sketch a wall. Click Modify to end the command and then select the wall. In the Properties palette, click Edit Type. In the Type Properties dialog, in the Identity Data section, there's a parameter called Keynote. All model elements, detail components, and materials have a Keynote parameter. The field is initially blank. Click in that field to make it active, and then click the More button. As soon as you do, Revit displays the Keynotes dialog. Here, you can select the Keynote that you want to assign to the wall type. Click Cancel to close the Keynotes dialog, and then click Cancel to close the Type Properties dialog. Keynotes are stored in special ASCII text files. Revit actually ships with several different Keynote data files which you can modify to create your own. You can have different Keynote data files for different projects, but only one file can be associated with a project. Once Keynotes have been placed in a project, if the information in the Keynote file is modified, all of the Keynotes will update appropriately. On the Annotate ribbon, in the Tag panel, expand the Keynote Split button and click Keynoting Settings. Revit displays the Keynoting Settings dialog. Realize that the file path can be set to Absolute, Relative, or At Library Locations. At Library Locations is only available when the file location is mapped to a library location, and a default Revit project is initially mapped to a library location. Click Browse to open the Browse for Keynote File dialog. If you started the project with the default Imperial template, then you will be looking in the Imperial library. If you started the project with the default Metric template, then you will be looking in the Metric library. In either library location, you will notice that there are multiple Keynote data files. You can use any of these files or use one to create your own Keynote data file. Click Cancel to close the dialog. When the file path is set to Absolute, Revit will look for the Keynote data file in a specific folder located on your local PC or a network server. However, when the file path is set to Relative, Revit will look for the Keynote data file where the project file or central model is located. If that file is moved to a new location, Revit expects the Keynote data file to move to this new location as well. When a Keynote data file is specified, you can click View to open the Keynotes dialog to see the key values and the text associated with the Keynote. You can drill down into some of the key values while others are a single line. Clicking OK and Cancel will simply close the dialog in this situation, since you are just viewing the keynotes. Click either button to return to the Keynoting Settings dialog. If a change is made to the Keynote data file, you must click Reload to reload any changes that were made, as this will not happen automatically. Lastly, you can control the numbering method. The options are By Keynote and By Sheet. When set to By Keynote, Keynotes are based on the numbers assigned in the Keynote data file. When set to By Sheet, the Keynotes are simply numbered based on the order they were added to the views on the sheet. Note that when numbering Keynotes by Sheet, if a view has not yet been placed onto a sheet, the Keynote values will appear blank but will fill in once the view is placed onto a sheet. 
Once you have the keynoting settings specified, click OK and you are ready to place keynotes.